The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went up to the mountain and summoned those whom he wanted to be with him, and they came to him. That they might be sent out, he appointed twelve whom he also named apostles, that they might be with him, and they might be sent and he might send forth to preach and to have authority to drive out demons. He appointed the twelve, Simon, whom he named Peter, James, son of Zebedee, and John, the brother of James, whom he named Bonagers, that is, sons of thunder, Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, Simon, the Cananean, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. So first, there was a great multitude, thousands upon thousands of people following Jesus, listening to him as he preached about the, the good news, about the kingdom of God and witnessing to many different miracles. Many of them were recipients of his miracles. And after showing them uh, marvelous deeds, feeding 5,000 men you know, out of the thousands and thousands of multitude, 5,000 men you know, were named and illustrated by uh, the evangelist. And uh, after feeding them and uh, showing them his, uh, his uh, marvelous deeds, his power over nature, uh, he would uh, then uh, give his invitation to everyone, everyone present. And uh, he would invite them to discipleship. And uh, he would always ask, if you wish to be my disciples, then you must be able to carry your cross daily and to leave everything behind. So two things are required to become a disciple of Jesus. So upon the, among thousands and thousands of people, the call for the discipleship was there, the invitation to be with him. And that is actually what the gospel was talking about today. Before he named the 12 apostles, in fact, out of the many uh, disciples who, uh, who said yes, who accepted the invitation, no? he even chose 72 of them, 72 men whom he sent two by two, to carry out you know, his, uh, his mission to proclaim the kingdom of God to all creatures. And uh, they were amazed because they were actually given the power uh, to uh, drive out demons, to cure diseases, and uh, the boldness and the courage to preach the kingdom of God. But uh, discipleship is just one thing you know, uh, in the call of, uh, of discipleship or in the call in our call you know, to be with with Jesus so discipleship simply means uh, to be with Jesus to be with him to learn from him to understand you know, uh, deeply uh, about the message of the kingdom of God about how Jesus would preach so discipleship means you know, to learn more to understand more and even to love God more and uh, this is the essence of the invitation of God you know, uh, to all of us. That's why the call you know, is actually offered to all of us. That is why we have this saying, you know, many are called, but few are chosen. So does it mean that only the chosen are the ones going to heaven? No, that is not the meaning of that. You know? Many are called to discipleship, to be with Jesus, to be with Him, to learn from Him, to understand Him better, and to love Him more. That is discipleship. All of us are called to that. But only a few, only a few are chosen to be apostles. And to be apostles, it means to be sent forth. Sabihin, no, we don't only stay with Jesus and be with Him and learn and understand and know and uh, love Him. But to be apostles is to partake of his mission to be sent forth. And uh, these apostles no, were named by Jesus in the gospel today. No, ordinary men, 
they were not really special. They were not even, there was no even qualification for them to become apostles. Only one thing, that you will be willing you know, to follow me, to carry your cross daily, and to leave everything behind, and to be willing to be transformed. And that is actually what Jesus did with his 12 apostles. He transformed them in many, many ways. That's why he would always have intimate moments with his 12. No, he would uh, make them witnesses of his uh, transfiguration. He would show them uh, things no, that not everyone, not the huge crowd would be able to witness. Like for example, in the lake where he would uh, be seen walking on water and he would calm the storm while they were while the disciples no, were with, or the apostles were witnesses of these uh, uh, great things no, that, uh, that Jesus did. did. But uh, aside from showing them no, his power over nature and his marvelous deeds, he would also teach them even further no, than what he was teaching uh, to the crowd. No? There was even a time that he would uh, intimate with his disciples and explain to them no, the parables, no, the meaning of the parables, for example, the parables of the seed and the soil, no, that even his disciples would ask him, what do you mean by this parable? And then Jesus would intimate and uh, patiently even uh, explain to his apostles even deeper you know, the meaning of that. So, uh, being with Jesus, no, this is uh, the first call to be with him and being with Jesus no, uh, gives us the opportunity uh, to, to understand you know, the kind of work that he does, to understand even deeper you know, the mission that he has in this world. So that learning from him and knowing him better and uh, uh, being intimate with him you know, and being transformed by him, you know, then uh, we become ready to be sharers of, uh, of his mission and uh, this is apostleship so all of us all of us has the uh, uh, the opportunity and uh, are given the uh, invitation to be with God and to be sent by God and uh, in our uh, being with God we as we uh, we know him and we learn to understand his mission no, we, uh, we are moved to love Him better because we cannot love no, somebody whom we do not know. Kaya nga, kahit sa ating mga, uh, in our human relationships, no, uh, there is this moment no, or period of getting to know each other better because getting each other or getting to know each other better no, would compel us or would at least inspire us to even love each other more, no, accepting no, the persons, the kind of person Know that we are know, and accepting the kind of person know, the one you love is and uh, this is actually the point of Jesus know, if you wish to be with me then come and follow me and even his disciples would ask him where do you stay where do you live what kind of life do you have know, and Jesus would, would make no promises know, just he would say and tell everyone just come and see see it for yourself and uh, as we discover it by ourselves when we are intimate with God, and uh, that leads us also to, uh, to understand Him more and to love Him better. But it doesn't end there. No? Uh, our, the invitation of God does not end no? by simply knowing Him better and understanding His mission and uh, to love Him more. Jesus wants us to become more, no? to become His apostles, to be sharers of that mission and so if you wish to be more well, not just disciples no, but when you are transformed no, from what you are no, fishermen no, the, he transformed them to become fishers of men no, and to become a fishers of men it simply means no, to be what God wants us to be and that is the kind of more no, that the Lord is asking of us to be fishers of men that means no, to share to share what we know about him to share what we understand about his mission and most importantly to share the love that he has 
for all of us so that we become also sharers of the good news of the kingdom of God to all creatures.